<sighs> it's not even the chase. It's just the fact that you can't pick her up instantly, so I, I lost like a half second. Three quarters of a second. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it. That room is a delicate room. You really want to see, I mean, there are so many runs that people lost in that room, not even just that category. Like, I've lost low percent runs in that room when things just got a little bit out of control. DW's lost way too many runs in that room. Feel bad. For even mentioning it. Yeah, you don't have the option in low percent of killing a, a red wizard who's just right in front of you. Like, you almost, you're sometimes forced to take that damage boost, so... Don't get there with one heart. That's just a death sentence. Alright, well, that's not horrible. I mean, but that's... You don't want to lose that heart, because if you did get there with three hearts, then beams on path for three are terrific. Whereas, two heart path for three with no beams is awful. Low percent's hard. Just build a seven count. Bust out the silvers and see if your global can get you hard off his all. That's another strat. <sighs> low and eight? Yeah, low eights. Bottleneck. All right. That's why I used to run low percent two first, then eight, just to get eight out of the way. Um. But at some point, you know, the, what happens there is that 8 gets the adrenaline up so much, then you have this big lull where you've got like 3 and 4 and 1, which shouldn't be a lull. You still need to be at full attention for those levels, especially 3 and 4. So I don't like the pacing that way. I mean, low percent's an adrenaline category, and I don't want to go... I don't want to be... Uh, what's the uh, word? I don't know. Drained for three and four. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's...
Alright. That's fine. That's fine. That's just a really dumb mistake. After all the time I spent, I was just gonna build my count up and force the bomb in the Stalfos room. And, you know, I could have just taken a damage boost anywhere along the way and saved myself the trouble. Sure, I could get another key, but that the re-entry of one takes about six, somewhere between six and six and a half seconds. Um, the next fastest key is slower than that. In fact, the error key takes about nine seconds to walk, but you also save time on uh, the pattern, the formation, and killing it in the buyer room. Yeah, and that it does set up a nice that Stalfos formation is terrific. It doesn't get any better than that. That room can drain time, and in any percent, it does drain time if you don't hit a clip in the overworld to enter a thirty secret backward. Ah. <laughs> Plus six for the entire thing. The entire opening of the door sequence takes six seconds. Ugh. And so, in, if you if you watch people do uh, level 3, where they get the first Dark Nut Bomb, then they go left, and then they go up from that 5 Dark Nut Room to get a key before coming back down and clearing that room, ignoring the pattern, it's slower to get that key than it is to re-enter level 1. The task does not get that key. Task gets some other keys that are combat heavy that are completely absurd for RTA. Also, the task is up in A, so has that going for it. Saves a key in level 1 at the map room.
Right, exactly. Just two, puts two bombs on the river, clears the whole room. The, the dream. Oh, I've been to Publix. It's not that good. I don't want you. No! No! Stop! Get away from me! Good lord! Should have gone around. Now my count's getting too high, and this guy's in front of me! Get out of here! Duango's task bot is just the task. Duango did not make the task. He does not make tasses. He makes them work on machines using a robot to convey that a robot's playing the game when a task is just a program of inputs. The tasses have been made by like Breakdown, J Prophet, Lord Tom. They're the guys who wrote the tasses. It's their task. Duango's inappropriately getting credit for tasks. I spent a month in St. Petersburg back in 2010, and Publix is the grocery store there. It's a grocery store like, like the Kroger's we have here. They have food. Clean. <laughs> uh, the one there's a Publix on uh, St. Pete Beach, and it's just like any other store. Um, you know, I mean, from my perspective in the Midwest, you know, just a single level store. The one on Treasure Island is on the second story of the building. Uh, it's like there's a parking lot underneath the building, which is not... It's just weird that there's, like, basically two completely different building styles for Publix in, uh, in like, a two-mile area. We don't have... In the Midwest, I've never seen a grocery store that was built on top of its garage. In and out burger? Yeah, there's like this. I don't know. Seems. It's another thing like this cult following for In and Out Burger. And I'm not really sure what the deal is. heard plenty of people be like, in and out sucks. So, what's the hype about? Checkers? Yeah, rallies? And you'll hear people say that rallies is disgusting. Rallies, checkers. We 
We needed that. Whataburger? That's what the guy from my WoW guild from Texas would call it. Water Whataburger? Dairy Queen? Yeah, so I grew up um, in Northeast Ohio in a small town on Lake Erie. And we had a Dairy Queen. Like, I grew up with a Dairy Queen, so it wasn't, like, a weird thing that we had it. We had a Dairy Queen in the middle of town. In the south end of town, in the old village, there was, you know, your classic old-school ice cream shop. And on the on the shore, there was um, some mom-and-pop uh, soft-serve and hot food joint. So, I mean, any part of town, there's an ice cream joint. Yo, the french fries are so good. Oh, still took a hit. What's up, Dark Falls? Hey, I don't know why people say it's disgusting rallies or checkers. I used to go in high school, we had one near the school, and we'd go there and get the shakes. And try to and try to have it with a straw. It's like the most impossible thing ever. You could not suck that milk a rally's milkshake through a straw. We had an English teacher, it was his first year out of college, so he's like twenty-three years old. And we're, like, you know, high school students, so we're just a few years younger than him. And, like, it was football night, and so we asked him, he's like, Dude, you want to come with us to rallies? Like, because we needed a ride. And he told us stories about his hoopty that he drove. So, he's like, he's like, don't you tell anybody about this. So we all jumped in his hoopty, this fucking big-ass, like, Faded blue LTD or something like that. I don't know. It was not an LTD. It was some sort of a Dodge. And it was... It had, like... It was like a couch for a back seat. Like a full-size sofa. And we went and... We all had a rallies. Shake. And <laughs> it's not that kind of story. <laughs> <laughs> it's we didn't mention his name. It's all good. Back in 1996, Mr. Blank <laughs> took us to rallies. Ah! <laughs> in his hoopty. Oh, I do not like Sonic. Hot or cold, it doesn't matter. That It makes me feel sick. Which is probably why, uh, what like other people don't like whatever for. They're like, I don't like White Castle. I don't like In-N-Out. I don't like rallies because it probably makes them feel like garbage. And Sonic makes me feel like garbage. I don't like it. Oh, the beams! Oh, this is such a bad room. None of the beams connected to anything, because I did it wrong. That's fine. Bomb. Nice. Corralled them right between the blocks.
Where are we at? I knew this. Ah. Took a moment. Remember the right thing this time. Storage. Good lord. <laughs> Give me that. Thank you. Shit, I just fucking stood there. I was trying to wiggle. Oh my god. Nice. No drop. Zero. Gonna store that now. I'm not getting any trouble. Okay. 
Easy. Get the stab. Ugh. You ever gonna turn up, guy? The super safe walk. Why am I doing that? <laughs> nice job. I guess so. <laughs> uh, Patcher 3 was kind of sad. <laughs> Ugh. I am glad I did not look at my timer at the Silver Arrow. That would have been gross. One fifty nine point two. That's unfortunate. That's really, really bad. 